Congratulations, humanity. We landed on the moon 50 years ago today. But what was the first thing they ate? Welcome to Ready, Set, Question. What's up, guys? My name is Willie, and I am dedicated to helping you build a reasonable worldview one question at a time. Today, we are at the Culver City DMV, where there is a commemoration celebrating the moon landing. And yes, today is the 50th anniversary, July 20th, 2019. Let's go ask some people some moon landing trivia. So you're at the DMV, you're waiting in line, you got nothing else to do except answer some moon trivia. What are we celebrating? Oh, no idea. The moon landing, 50 year anniversary. This, this cheese place. <laughs> cheese place? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know what happened 50 years ago? Yes, this, um, the moonlight. You don't seem very celebratory. No? Yeah, can't oh. celebrate something that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, I like that. No way. So who was the first person to walk on the moon? Um, I want to say Neil Armstrong. You know what? I'm gonna take back Neil Armstrong. That's the that's the official story. The first person is probably the photographer. Was it Neil Armstrong? Or, yep. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. What was the first thing he said when he walked on the moon? Oh my God. I don't know your question. Uh, one small step for no, one small step for mankind or something like that. One small, one small step for man, uh, some, something like that. I don't really know. I'm so sorry. Do you know what the the first thing ever said on the moon was? Cut. <laughs> uh, is it the whole one giant step for man, one? Bigger step for mankind? Is it no, that it's phrase? Not one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. One small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. You know he actually flubbed, he made a mistake. What was the mistake? He he left out the A. He was gonna say one small step for A, a man. man. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Do you know who the second guy was? No, I do not. Oh, I don't know. He's not in the history books. <laughs> well, he is. He's really famous. Who was the second guy to walk on the moon? Oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't like science or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, no. I only know Lance. Lance who? Armstrong. Why? Why was he so famous? Uh, because he was the first man on the moon. You want me to give you a hint? Yes. Have you ever seen Toy Story? Woody? I don't know. Woody? Woody? <laughs> Maybe the other guy? <laughs> you ever seen Toy Story? Yeah. Woody Allen? No, no. Uh, Not yeah. Buzz Lightyear. Not Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. No. Okay. okay. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Buzz Lightyear? Yeah. Buzz. You got it. You got Buzz it. Buzz Aldrin? Yes. Good job. High five. Boom. Who was the third guy that was left in the command module to never land on the moon? <laughs> I have no idea, but that totally sucks. I already forgot the name. Sorry, pregnancy ring. <laughs> <laughs> You're pregnant? Yeah. You have yeah. a little baby there? Yeah. You hope your baby will go to space someday? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Just not on that one-way mission to Mars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You want more fun facts about the lunar mission? Sure, I got time to kill. Yeah, you do, you're at the DMV. So what was the first thing they ate on the moon? I just wanna say moon ice cream, space ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it must have been something compressed like into those packages. So it could have been, uh, was it beef jerky or something? Uh, <laughs> Dehydrated food <laughs> of some sort. And there's a game called Euchre. Oh, I have played Euchre. Alright, so that's the hint. What was the first thing they ate? But I have no idea. I'm, just, I'm usually drinking while Euchre, so I'd want to <laughs> say alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that was part of it. They did have wine. Ah. Do you know what Eucharist is? Eucharist, no. Have you ever uh, heard of communion before? <laughs> I don't mean to keep on saying no, but no, I don't know. Like at a church where they do bread and wine? 
So when they landed on the moon, they did, uh, oh, that, they did communion. Oh, that bread and wine? Uh, yeah. Very spiritual. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really a religious guy, so I could have, I would have known that, but that's cool. After celebrating the moon landing at the DMV and asking people different trivia questions, I thought, why don't I go to the United States Postal Service and see if they have a stamp? And they do. Thank you so much to all my new friends at the DMV and especially my good buddy who is the lunar landing denier. I love talking to you, you're an amazing guy. And just real quick, I have something for you specifically. It is called the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter Camera. It was launched in 2009 and it actually just goes around and around and around the moon every single day. And they've also cataloged all of the Apollo sites across all of the missions that made it to the surface of the moon. So you can actually see Apollo 11 and the remainder of the lunar module that has the plaque with the four names on it. And if you want some extra credit, uh, name the four names in the comments below. Also, look at this picture right here. This is one of the most iconic photos from the surface of the moon, and that is Buzz Aldrin, but his name tag, let me zoom in for you here, it says E Aldrin. So if you know what E stands for, go ahead and comment below. You can actually get some extra credit, which is basically me giving you a thumbs up right now. Thank you so much for that. And I wanna tell you guys some things that you might want to celebrate today. The National Mall in Washington, D.C. has an entire website just filled with amazing things happening. I think the two surviving crew members are gonna be meeting up with Donald Trump at some time. Don't forget to go to the USPS, your local post office, to get the moon stamps. Check it out. Hashtag moon landing stamps. And also, I want to just say thank you so much to all the people who work so hard at the National Archives. The footage that I used, amazing stuff. It, it, I mean, we're such a blessed country to have people who care about our history and document it with video and photo and audio. One last thing, Hollywood made a movie about Apollo 11 and it shows the beautiful tender scene of Buzz Aldrin having communion on the moon when they land. And if you'd like to learn more and you don't have time to watch the movie, there's another link to history.com that talks about his experience doing the Eucharist and the Lord's Supper, the communion, however you say it in your faith community. And it also shows a picture of the chalice that he smuggled on board. So that's a fun little fact for you. All right, guys, as always, like and subscribe to these videos if you wanna see more. I really appreciate it if you do that for me. And much love, Godspeed, and ready, set, question.